everyone has a question from exercise 10.1 third question the question is identify the numerical coefficient of the terms other than constant in the following expression so we have to find out the terms for terms you have to find out the numerical coefficient and we don't have to consider the constant constant are the one which has a fixed value means like a numbers when you see uh, in the expression we do we have to avoid them we have to write down the terms with the like which which has a variables and all for example the first question let us take the first question here it is 5 minus 3 t square so 5 is a term but it's a constant right so we don't have to consider that we have to take only minus 3 t square so terms other than constant here is minus 3 t square now for this term the numerical coefficient what is numerical coefficient normally term Terms actually they are the product of the uh, or we can say they are the product of the factors. So the factors here is minus three and t into t. So if I split this, it is minus three into t into t. Right? These are the factors here. In this factor, when you see a number like here minus three is a number, this is called numerical coefficient. So for this term, the numerical coefficient is minus three. You should take also a sign. If there's a negative sign, consider a negative sign also. So for this term, the, the, the numerical coefficient is minus 3. Let's go to second question. In second one, it is 1 plus t plus t square plus t cube. So 1 we should not take because it's a constant. So we're going to take other three factors. So other three terms we're going to take. One is t. Second one is t square. And third one is t cube now for these three terms we have to find out the numerical coefficient so here there's a no new numbers you don't see the numbers right there's a no number present here but when you see a no number here it means the one is present there so this t can be expressed as 1 into t usually we don't write 1 as a coefficient we just omit it but uh, we have to write down the coefficient here right so for first term the nu numerical coefficient will be 1 for second one also you don't see any number here right which means 1 is present so 1 will become numerical coefficient for second one and also for the third one so whenever you don't see any number there which means 1 will be the numerical coefficient we usually don't write it we omit it but 1 will be the numerical coefficient or the coefficient so let's go to the next question third question so third one we have x plus 2xy plus 3y so there's a no constant here there are three terms present x and second one is 2xy and third one is 3y right for x you don't see any number here like I said before if you don't see a number which means 1 is present so 1 will be the numerical coefficient for the first term for second one you can see 2 is present so 2 will be the numerical coefficient for third one 3 will be the numerical coefficient so in terms when you see a number that will become the numerical coefficient or the coefficient the next one fourth question so we have 100 m plus 1000 n so there's a no constant here two terms are present 100 m and the second term is 1000 n so for the first term the numerical coefficient will be 100 it's a number and for second one it will be 1000 now let's go to the next question fifth question fifth one we have minus p square q square and 7 pq these are the two terms present so if you don't know what are terms i'm explaining now the terms are nothing but uh, they are actually a comp they are present in the expression which are separated by the positive sign plus sign so here the first term will be minus p square q square and second term will be 7 p q now for the first term there is a no number present but there is a minus sign present so its numerical coefficient will become minus 1 so negative sign we should always take with a number not with a variable so minus 1 will be the numerical coefficient for second one 7 is present so 7 will be the numerical coefficient the next question sixth one so we have 1.2a and 0.8b so two terms are present 1.8 1.2a and the second one is 0.8b 
right for first term there's a 1.2 it's a decimal number but it can be a coefficient so it's a numerical coefficient for second one it is 0 0.8 the next question seventh one it's 3.14 r square there's only one term present here which is 3.14 r square so r square here is a like a variable and the constant the num so not constant the numerical coefficient will be 3.14 it's a number it's 3.14 then the next question next one it's eighth problem so in eighth one we have a 2 into l plus b so it's 2 into l plus b so if i open the bracket here uh, let me open the bracket and explain you when i open the bracket it will become 2l plus 2b so the two terms are present here one is 2l and the next one is 2b so what will be the coefficient here numerical coefficient for first one it will be 2 and for second one also it will be 2 then the last question So in last one here we have it's a ninth problem we have 0 0.1 y 0 0.01 y square so two terms are present one is 0 0.1 y and second one is 0 0.01 y square so for the first one the numerical coefficient is 0 0.1 and for second one it is 0 0.01 so that's it i hope it's clear how to find out the numerical coefficient in case you have for the question no doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching